A crash must be nested in the temple below. We must go there at once. I'd call it a murderous training camp. Acutely observed on both counts. They're hunting you. They want the artifact. If this is about that weapon your friend was talking about, we don't have it and we don't know shit about it. A Gith Yankee is as likely to forsake its violent nature as a gnome is to fly. They'll stop at nothing to take it from you. I have not failed you yet, and I have no intentions of it now. I don't need you to believe me for it to be true. And once inside, you could simply purloin an egg. Steal one of Gith's own. I will slit your throat for even suggesting it. Hello there troops, we are back at it with another episode of Baldur's Gate 3 and you're watching Ace of Space Gaming with your host for the day and the weekend, myself thumbs. No troops? Well, I highly recommend that you skip the recap slash intro because I tend to go on and I, I, I try to stop but I just, I can't. <laughs> so if you skip it then I'll see you at the start of the actual gameplay and if not then good luck. So. The last episode, in all, in, in all honesty, was uh, a filler episode because we just kind of ran through the, the Underdark, kind of picking up wee missions here and there to finish it off. So I killed the Minotaurs to start us off with because, you know, why not start the episode with a good fight, right? And then we went down to the kind of cove of Bibber Bangs. <laughs> the explosive mushrooms. Are they explosive mushrooms once they're exposed to fire? Where Balin happened to be in the middle of. So there's this dwarf who's in with the magnets. Her name's Dereth and she wanted us to find her husband. Well she didn't actually want us to find her husband. She just asked if we have seen him. But he's in there and we could have saved him but Grosha slash me <laughs> decided to kill Balin because he's not a nice guy and Dareth tells you that herself that he he lost his mind but before that he was a horrible person and losing his mind was the best thing that happened to him so we took care of him <laughs> but we also got the noble stock as well which uh, by using the mage hand spell and like I did load it a couple of times because I used it on Grosha because that was kind of a test to see if it would use it up or if, it, or if it'd get the memory first. So I did load it, so I, po I apologise for that. <laughs> but there was a, me a memory of Grosha and Skeletus and they were doing a, a vivisection. I don't know, it was really weird. But you got to have a nice wee snippet of Grosha's past before the tadpole at least. And it's not pretty. <laughs> And again, not a lot of important things happened. We went for a long rest and the owl bear cub had a nightmare and it was so sad. <laughs> but Scratch was there to comfort him and it was adorable. I also gone away for the long rests. We, I showed you how to get the third piece of the staff, the icy staff. I can't remember what it's called, but... We, got, we killed the last drow to get the third piece of that and then made the staff. It's actually, it's a really good staff. In my mage run is Seroth, God rest her soul. I'm joking. <laughs> but I used that all the way up until Act 3, so it's actually a really good weapon if you're a mage, a, a wizard. And then, I guess to round the episode off, I, uh, I went back to the original starting area. We went back to... The Blighted Village and back to the Susar Forge thing to make the Susar Bark weapon. It's not a Susar Forge, it's just a forge. <laughs> but we done the Susar Bark weapon and I gave it to Lizelle to test it out. I don't know if it's actually going to be useful because it's usually garbage. And that was essentially the last episode. Honestly, as I said, bit of a filler episode. <laughs> I also have a bit of a, a disclaimer. During the week that I've not been recording, I did play a part of Grosha's playthrough just to kind of get some things done. 
and I went back to the Underdark and I actually done the Arcane Tower by myself. So I do apologise that I didn't show that on the channel, but honestly, it was not worth it. <laughs> oh, like, I got lots of uh, like resources in that to make uh, potions and stuff and whatnot. And obviously we bumped into Bernard, where we recited uh, some poems, not poems, a, a play with him, and then we got a hug from him. But then I also killed Bernard because he has a weapon on him. And then it wasn't really that good of a weapon, so it wasn't worth it. <laughs> but we did get lots of ingredients and stuff, so I guess that was handy. But for today's episode, getting last week's out of the way and what I'd done in between, uh, today I decided, or I had a thought, that we'd go and finally visit the Githyanki crash like Lazelle has been asking this entire time. Should I break up with Lazelle first? But yeah, we're gonna go to the Githyanki crash. Maybe break Lazelle's heart, who knows. <laughs> I feel bad, but you know. But we're doing that in hopes of getting the tadpoles removed from our heads. Lazelle said that the Githyanki have this device that are good at essentially removing tadpoles, but Everybody else who said they can help with the tadpoles ends up not being able to help. So let's see how <laughs> how useful the Githyanki actually are in helping us. So now I'm going to shut up. <laughs> so that we can actually see that for ourselves. I mean, we won't see that today, but we'll be getting into the crash today. We'll be doing stuff and things. So I'm going to shut up. We're going to get into it. We're going to see what kind of trouble Grosha and her friends can get into today. So with that said, troops, let's go! I'm gonna give that to Lizelle. Oh, fuck. This disc is embellished with Tirsu script. Oh. It shouldn't take much effort to decipher it. And... there. <laughs> From madness rises meaning. I've never saw this before. The Prince of the Comet, part one. Part one! So it was that we were free from gay shackles and turned our blades on each other. The heavens were shattered, and one great empire was divided in two. Gith traveled to the Hells to broker help for her people, her cause. Vlakith would have you believe Mother Gith proclaimed her our queen. Mm -hmm. Lies. <laughs> Gith made no such proclamation. Vlakith seized the Empire against the Mother's wishes. But Gith had nurtured a son. Orpheus, Ooh. Prince of the Comet, the true heir. He knew Vlakith's treachery. Orpheus rallied Gith's honor guard and declared the throne for himself. The War of the Comet had begun. All of it drivel. <laughs> Gith declared Vlakith queen of the Empire, and her own son defied her. Orpheus would have ceded control to the Geich. Would he? So that's what you've been told your whole life? Okay, so I wasn't expecting to start the episode with some story time with Lizelle. I forgot Gein her that, like, thing is a cutscene, but I'd never actually listened to it before. I was gonna ask her to explain it, but having her read it out was much better. <laughs> so yeah, there you have it. The story of Orpheus and how he's apparently a traitor, right? But I, I never I found that um, uh, in the Arcane Tower, so I'm glad I found that because I always wondered where part one was. So we'll be hearing actually a lot more about Orpheus as we kind of go down the Githyanki storyline and whatnot. Maybe not so much at the crash, but we'll be getting little snippets about Orpheus at the crash. He's actually really fucking important to the story, so that's why that got kept in. <laughs> but anyway, I was just doing a little bit of item, item management, and we got this sword. Uh, this... what is this? I think it's like a, a glaive. It's a halberd. Okay, sorry. And it does lightning damage. It's decent enough, but it's just, it's not better than my sword. Wait, is it? No, it's not. And uh, I got various other things. I think I got that. I'm not too sure, but I got decent stuff. 
I'm also I got an open letter on oppression and peacocks. And I wanted to read it because I think it's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna read it. You know what? Fuck it. We'll start the episode on a funny note. Well, on an Orpheus and funny note. And then we'll uh we'll move on to the crash. And I need to level up because we leveled up when we defeated Bernard, so. Anyway, written in a furious slopping hand, this is a letter to the editor of Baldur's Bash, a tabloid notorious for its controversial articles. Dear editor, I find it despicable, nay, diabolical, that you would defend Baldur's Gate's ridiculous restrictions regarding animals in the city. No animal larger than a peacock may gain entry. How archaic! <laughs> My darling Giselle is the most well-behaved bear you'll ever meet. And yet to spend time with my child, I must visit my summer home in Cormier. Does that make sense? <laughs> I feel like I read that wrong, but fuck it. I call upon the Parliament of Peers to resolve this issue. Immediately. The emotional and psychological well-being of the people of Baldur's Gate is at stake. And I shall take this to the highest of authorities, should it not be dealt with accordingly. Right now, Giselle cries out for her father. Oh, that's your child. Okay. <laughs> the archaic policy has separated a child from the parent. I don't know how Grand Duke Older Ravengard lives with himself. Yours faithfully, Mr. R. Pickens. <laughs> I didn't realize this was a bit of fucking bear. <laughs> You're wanting to let a bear in the city. I wonder why they're not fucking allowing that to happen, my friend. <laughs> Gotta love it. Got to love it. Anyway, I'm gonna level up, do some stuff and things, and then we're moving on to the mountain pass. So, well, I'll probably see you right here in a second once we're leveled up. No, actually, I'm gonna go for a long rest. I forgot we are all fucked. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that as well. So I'll see you at camp then. <laughs> Nothing happening. I would have met you back in camp, but no one had anything to say. So I didn't really think it was worth hanging a ruin camp for that long. So there we have it. <laughs> Nothing happened. Your blood stain is still there from that time we massacred fucking Alfira. I don't think massacred's the word I was looking for, but you get my drift. No, I'm gonna leave camp. Uh, because we're all rested, we're all spell slotted up. Now we're gonna go deal with the d d d d d d the gith yankee. <laughs> Not before I save though, because I... I save every two seconds, I have issues. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> to the mountain pass. Yes. Wait. Two seconds. Does that matter? I'm about 98% sure that it's fine for me to do this and not fuck things up. Yeah, fuck it. We're just gonna do it. I'm quite sure it, it, it's not going to ruin things until I try to move on to Act 2. Or at least that's my fucking hopes. <laughs> yes, we are sure. It's really just the Omelium thing anyway, but... I don't know what happens to him if you... Well, I guess the same thing happens to him if you don't go back. It just means you don't get a, a lithid power. I can assume. And here we are at the monastery trail because can we just talk about how stunning this area looks? Like, I love this place so much. There's not a lot of fighting from what I remember. Well, on the trail, there is at the fucking crash. Time to press ahead. Oh, I forgot we have the owl bear egg this time around. Might be useful. Where is this Rayton she speaks of? Is that? Is it? Do you need to walk more? There you go. Wait. These markings. 
Tirsu script scratched in the ground. A crash must be nested in the temple below. We must go there at once. Look how cute she was. She was so excited about that. <laughs> I don't know. I can trust your people. I lead us there in I will lead us there in my own time. We need to stay close. Hey, I'm just gonna ask, how do you know if we can trust your people? Because the last time we ran into your people, Lizelle, they fucking handed me my ass. <laughs> I did not fare well. <laughs> you don't have to trust them. Only to trust me. Aww. I have not failed you yet, and no, I have no haven't. intentions of it now. She's precious. I don't need you to believe me for it to be true. <laughs> I believe you. Isn't that adorable? She's like, don't trust them, trust me. Well, in that case, it's time to get to the crash then, my friend. Yeah. Very well, you may lead. But if we stray too far that our chance is lost, I'll make my way there alone. That's fine. I've not... N Wait, I can never find the writing on the ground that she's fucking speaking of. Where is... Is it even here? Or am I just fucking blind? I might be bl Oh, it's right here! Right, got you! <laughs> Never saw that. But like, I'm quite sure if you do try to leave this area, she does like kinda just wait for you, but I'm also- I've saw that once you return, you can essentially try and get her to tell you that she missed you. And a lazy way about it. And I think it's cute. Or that she not that she missed you, kinda that she's glad you came back. And also if you I'm quite sure this is the entrance, like if you were to follow the, the goblin camp way here. And I'm quite sure that's what this is. I thought we would have said something. Is there not usually something you say? What's hiding here? No? It makes sense that the goblins came through this way. It's a fucking mess. I thought we had something to say, but no. And that's just, yeah, body parts everywhere. Anyway, back to the monastery trail. Do I need more torties? No. Okay, let's have a little listen to this. Blessed be you, pilgrim. Pilgrim! Take respite now in the dawn's loving gaze. So this whole place is like... Looks like the Thunder, God of the Dawning Sun. Never mind. I was just about to say that. This whole place is kind of like... Oh, the monastery is like a Lathander thing, right? Again, I'm not too big on the details of D&D &D and their gods, but it's, it's a big temple <laughs> for Lathander. So we're going to hear some things about Lathander. Okay. So this woman, Lady Esther, is, uh, well, I always kill her, and you, you're going to find out why. Ah, a friendly face. Oh, you are a sweet, sweet blessing, That's the my first dear. We've you know, heard that. <laughs> I've had nothing but trouble all day. I've been accosted, chased, insulted. Look over there. Do you see that wretched little hive? <laughs> oh, the lightning is great for you, Grosha. It's great for everyone. But I love the lightning in this area. <laughs> Lady, I'm busy. <laughs> yeah, I think Grosha would just be like, yeah, I do. What of it? <laughs> I just, I hate this woman because she's so fucking racist or xenophobic, whatever you might call it. Like, I know the Githyanki are not perfect as a fucking race, but I still do not like this woman one bit. It may look like a peaceful ruined temple, but it is overrun with brutish, stupid, rude Githyanki. Brutish and rude by your wretched standards, but stupid. <sighs> Chucky. You kill Your off. charming companion would call it a crash. But it was built on what remained after the Githyanki slaughtered all of the monks. I'd call it a murderous training camp. Acutely observed on both counts. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I was doing them a favor offering to buy one of their eggs. And how am I repaid? 
attacked and run off like some transient. I wonder why. Why would you, like the give Yankee lay eggs instead of birthing live children? <laughs> why is she so surprised that this race that are normally known for being violent attacked her for what offering to pay to buy a one of their fucking children? She deserved to be lynched then and there. But that's fine because Grosh is gonna fucking do it instead. Maybe I will let Lazel do it. But anyway, we're just going to be like, you tried to buy one of their children because I just, I cannot stand her. <laughs> Come and let me know what you think of Lady Esther. What? No, of course not. I was merely, well, <laughs> look, it's just an egg. As a child. The Society of Brilliant. Ask me to acquire one of their row so they can incubate it and once it hatches raise the spawn in their tradition Please do enlighten mm -hmm. me What is this tradition? The society believes a githyanki raised in a peaceful nurturing environment can overcome its violent nature I'm sure your friend would agree. A Gith Yankee is as likely to forsake its violent nature as a gnome is to fly. I hope Lizelle slices you to fucking ribbons. Paladin. With a pure will and great courage, anyone can rise above their nature. Ooh, I actually quite like that. Violence is taught, not inherited. You don't need a, to steal a child to know that. I kind of prefer that answer. Because I, I don't believe... Yeah, violence isn't inherited. You're not born evil. It's a great debate. And are you born evil or not? I don't believe you are. I think it's taught. Some things... Maybe Grosha would say some things are in our blood because she's a dark urge and she does have an urge to kill. <laughs> but she's trying to resist that urge. So, you know, yeah, we're going to go for that. We're going to go for the paladin answer. Fuck it. You've been sipping from the same goblet as the society. Perhaps you'd be willing to help then. No. To prove your point. No. They may have chased me away, but surely the Gith would welcome a person with such sympathetic views to their crash. And once inside, you could simply purloin an egg. No. Steal one of Gith's own. I will slit your throat for even suggesting it. Yeah, you I'm will. not talking to you. Don't fucking talk to her like that. You'll be well compensated, of course. Just bring me an egg. I hate how she talks down to Lazelle as if Lazelle is fucking nothing. Like, nah, man. My friend is right. What you suggest is revolting and you need to die. Because we're obviously going for that. Because I hate her. And also, we can gee her the owlbear egg. Which I'm not going to do, but we're just, we're going to kill her instead. I know it's so, so stupid, but I just love in this lighting. I kind of forgot that one of Grosha's eyes was two different colours, and I just, I love that you can see that now. <laughs> but anyway. At last. Mm. Hatazeth. You're welcome. I knew I was right about you beasts. Oh, you can, oh, I hope your death is sore. Is a... Or is not, um... I hope your death is not swift. <laughs> I can't get- we're, we're not gonna waste a level 3 spell right now. We can jump out of it. Right? For the most part. Oh, you can't even fucking hit me. No, we're gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. Why can I not do those? Oh, there's a bonus action. I don't want to waste like, haha, <laughs> concentration broke, what a bitch. Then we're gonna fucking disarm you, you fuck. Why can I not? Why are you not? Hello? Oh, you're a mobile because you're frightened. That's it. Right. Okay. Never mind. I'm just a fool. Uh. Mark 
Come on, Isao. <sighs> One can't always be a gentleman. You don't have <clears throat> any resistance, no. Now we're just gonna watch bolt you. I don't wanna use too many like spell slots right now. Nothing important is ever easy. But we are going to get Grosha to kick fuck out of her. Thunder restrict, motherfucker. <laughs> you picked the wrong fight for us. Aww. Just one HP. Maybe I'll let Lizelle take her out then. No, fuck it. Sorry, Lizelle, for <laughs> letting you take some damage here, man. But don't worry. You're gonna fucking get your revenge. I am fury. I am death. Come on to fuck Lizelle. What are you doing here, man? Thank you. She deserved it. Okay, we need to heal Lizzo. So there we have it. Lady Esther and the Society of Brilliance, were they called? That was who Blurg on Omelium worked for. And, well, I don't know how I feel about the Society, but I definitely don't like her. So, I've been joking that I need to get <laughs> my Baldur's Gate hyperfixation out the way before Dragon Age the Veilguard comes out, which is very fucking soon according to the trailer. So I need to get that out my system. Or try to. Can have two hyperfixations going at the one time, it just doesn't work. <laughs> anyway, let's read another Lathander sign. Approach the fairy in Lathander's grace. May his gaze shine upon you, pilgrim. Whenever I hear the word pilgrim, I just think of Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> Okay, I'm hoping I'll be able to do this because I Grosha has lost of strength. You know, we we strong. It's quite a high roll though. No, oh, nice. Thank you very much. That was tough. This can't have been used in a while. It hasn't been. Okay, so we can take that down there. <clears throat> I always kind of go down the trail a wee bit first, just to see if there's anything we can pick up. Because I can never remember if there is. Yeah, there's a chest here. An empty bottle. A half-eaten apple. What kind of arrows? Well, there's a case here anyway. With an arrow and a potion. There you go. Fucking worth it. <laughs> Okay, time to take the... I would call it a gondola, but am I just doing that because of the fucking... The map in Gears of War, was it 3? The gondola map? <laughs> I don't know if that's what it actually called. Was it Gears 3? Oh, oh fuck. I crave blood. It has been delay, a long time since magic. I played any Gears of War game. Have stayed interesting. I do not remember. Okay, use this. Wait. I want to get some good views as we use this. Oh, it moves the camera anyway. Oh, I can still move the camera around. Rotate it. Isn't this place just gorgeous? I think it is. <laughs> Come and let me know what you think of the mountain pass. Okay, so the it's Dun here is where we need to go to the temple. I'm just gonna do a little bit of exploring the first though. Lies before me. Because I wouldn't be thumbs if I didn't waste time. <laughs> I would love to say I'm joking, but we all know that's the truth. I I can admit it. I, I, oh, oh, everybody, I forgot to group his back up. I almost abandoned my friends. I believe we're approaching the crash. Once we're inside, let me do the talking. Oh, don't worry. Just to be clear, you're going to lead us into a nest of Gith Yankee marauders, and we're supposed to trust that will end well for us. <laughs> Is that a problem? 
More a sign of the times, I suppose. <laughs> More a sign of the times. <laughs> I guess everyone's a little apprehensive about letting <laughs> or go just walking into a fucking Git Yankee crash. They haven't really proven to be that friendly in our past meetings with them. I forgot there's a way up here too. Hmm. There's a couple of ways of getting into here, I think. I've never done that way before. But we need to. I'm gonna take you this way first, because it's a very important cutscene to see before we do anything. <laughs> Where we get to see just how friendly the Githyanki at this crash are. Okay. That's enough! On your feet! Where are you taking us? See, they're cultists this is as about well. that weapon your friend was talking about, we don't have it and we don't know shit about it! Silence! Move! No! No, 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 I'm not going in there! I won't! Good luck! <laughs> <laughs> Anyone want to join her? As I thought. Through the doors. Now! The captain is expecting you. You should have run. Forward. Carefully. These cultists have the crash on high alert. Your crash has everybody else on high alert. <laughs> so there we have it. Our first kind of little look at well, the Githyanki of the crash, anyway. Because we met, obviously, Githyanki when we ran... Well, no, yeah, we ran into Kithrak Voss and his group of people who are looking for the artifact that we have. Undead crushed underfoot. The Dawnlord certainly knows how to make space for new life. The, the Dawnlord certainly knows how to... Well, yeah. <laughs> I think the Dawn Lord is Lithanda, right? I don't know. As I said, I know nothing. <laughs> but anyway, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm gonna far a bit. Then we'll go to the doors because there's also some other dialogue there. And then maybe we'll see about taking the fucking Sidru in. You got no anything drops, on you, please. cultist? So the Gith Yankee aren't fond of the cultists. Could be a good thing. They could also probably see us as cultists or something, though, right? They don't, they're not a really stop to listen kind of people. They're more of a shoot first, don't ask questions at all. <laughs> Within the artifact, a feeling stirs. Oh! Uncertainty. Has that always happened? Before? Your curiosity is getting the better of you. Do not let it. Hmm. Stay away from the Githyanki. Yeah, of course you don't want They're it. hunting you. They want the artifact. They'll stop at nothing to take it from you. They do want the artifact. It is a very important thing. I'm not going to read this. Sorry. <laughs> but I just, I think it's funny that the Guardian doesn't want you going to see the, the Githyanki. When you know more about the Guardian, that makes a lot more sense as to it. And, no, yeah, and the, the artifact that you have, it makes sense why your Guardian doesn't want you uh, going to talk to the Githyanki. Where does that other side take you to? Fuck it, we're just gonna go this way. Because there's a wee battle here. What, <laughs> what do you mean, too drunk? <laughs> it's not possible. <laughs> so these um, kobolds are having a little bit of a party. This is also a brilliant place for alcohol. So you can get plenty of supplies in this place. So yeah, there's a battle, of course. As you can see, lots of little red dots in this place. Uh, 
and uh, I always like to try and spread my companions throughout the room to make this battle go a bit quicker because there's quite a few of them. They're not strong, but all of the alcohol is flammable, so it's a dangerous fight sometimes. And some of them, I think, are actually like hiding in the barrels. Anyway, I'm going to try and get my companions into good spots and then we're going to take the kobolds out. Oh fuck. That was not my plan. Gail and Shadowheart aren't even. Why is Groshas at the end of the. F oh. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. How can we get maximum damage here? Get you up here. Might have been overkill. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Action surge. I will not know fate. Wow, Lizelle. I didn't think you'd be doing so much damage with this one go, but fuck it. <laughs> tempest I will raise. Okay, so I know uh Lizelle. Oh far. I hate myself. Swiftly now. I just crouched and I didn't mean to. And now I have wasted a fucking attack. Oh, I hate myself. I hate that mechanic. I'm ready. <clears throat> I meant to jump is what I meant to fucking do. <laughs> Hmm, Shadow Heart. Come on, man. This is a terrible start for thumbs. I'll use were surprised. Surprised. So some of you shouldn't be getting attacked, right? Okay. Grosha, let's fucking take some of these assholes out. You can't even take one out? Grosha, you're doing my Tazan! No, you know what? I have started off on a terrible fucking note today. Why did you just burst into flames? Radiant damage. Why did you get hurt with radiant damage? I'm not complaining. Well, I am. <laughs> I'm annoyed. Best be on my way. All right. May as well. The last board is set. Right, let's not waste your attack, shall we, Gil? Indeed. I know it said don't play with fire. But You know. Oh, that's why I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> that was my fault. I'll take the fucking lose. Ready. It's not a lose. We still fucking defeated. Uh, you know, shut up. I'm an. I'm. Shush. Why can you not land a hit? Because you're really starting to annoy me now. I'm starting to annoy myself. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm not that annoyed. I'm just... I'm annoyed that I started the fight without meaning to. <laughs> Fuck it, we'll rebuke it. Probably shouldn't have. Oh, it didn't set that aflame. We're fine. <laughs> I really don't want to waste spell slots. Oh! 
forgot you came out of the barrel. And then get you out of here to get this wee guy. Lizelle, you've been a, a much better fighter than Grosha. I feel like I'm not doing well with managing Grosha's stats and shit. I don't know. Maybe I'm just Allow fucking shit demonstrate. at the game. I think we need to take that into consideration. <laughs> Fuck it. What should I do? I just I want Shadowheart to make one hit. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Maybe shouldn't have said fuck it. <laughs> oh well. Can I hit you with a bow from here? Yeah. Yeah, I can. Mm, nicely done, Grosha. I've never heard you say that before. Oh, I can keep going a Interesting. Longer. Anyway, that was the cobalt. I know we won. Something good here. But that's not the point. I messed up. But it's fine, they're dead. Well, there's actually still a couple of them in barrows, as you can see, they're gulping and making all sorts of noises. Oh yeah, you actually need that. There's also, within the monastery, there's a whole like puzzle for you to get a weapon. But you need, there's a first part in this part of the, the temple where you can get a seal that makes doing that puzzle a lot easier. So this is actually important to that ceremonial. Nope, that, I'm just saying that because I see the word. It's important to that puzzle of the game. So we're going to take that. And I'm not going to bother trying to fucking kill the rest of the kobolds. Are you going to get this? Someone. That's Why is it always kill? Where does this take you? I know it takes you up. But to where? Okay. To here. Alright. Well, up here, there's actually large eagles. But there's also one of the weapons to the ceremony slash puzzle that I picked the mace up for. I'll go this way first. Look at this ancient Githyanki warrior. The stone disc has Githyanki runes carved into it. Below them is drawn a translation into the common tongue. Location good. Close to road, but secluded. Building looks well fortified. Defense minimal. Seems to be a religious building. Space ample. Underground. Hidden. Ooh. <laughs> Was easy enough to sneak in without being observed. Prime spot for a crash. Suggest media occupation. Malar. Rahal. I don't know how to pronounce Githyanki, Githyanki things. A fallen Githyanki warrior. A crash must be close. Yeah, we're in it. Okay, I thought there was more to that. We're gonna go back downstairs. For now. <laughs> Is someone crying? Yeah, evil. <laughs> Again, it's another thing that I'm quite sure is... You can't use magic against them? I'm quite sure. Oh fuck, a stallion's really good for this fight, actually. Do I swap Gale out for a stallion? I really can't be fucked. <laughs> if not over, then through. Iceman trap. Okay, so we can get to see shit. Okay, so these are called Grimishkas. I don't know what they are, but they're allergic to magic, apparently. You can't even use cantrips against them. 
it might react to the, the magic and trigger a random effect so it's not even like I mean they're kind of cute <laughs> it's not oh, it's annoying they can turn into bigger cats let's let's say it's not a fun fight and Astarian is really good for this fight action not reaction do we just jump her right into the middle oh they didn't do anything why are they not attacking? I guess I shouldn't really be unhappy about that. <laughs> no? Yeah, there you go. Oh, you're in the fucking... You're in the... You got those boots on that electrifies water. Okay. I'm not, I'm not quite sure how Gale's going to... Be of any help. I guess if we can kill them before they uh, do what they do, what if I use ice on them? Then maybe they might slip. <laughs> yeah, I know, but Gil is a mage. What else are we supposed to do? Oh fuck, that one's already activated. Yeah! yeah! On your dolly's hell. Oh, they're chilled. So that kind of worked. <laughs> nice. Nice. What boots do you have, Alan? You have lightning boots too. <laughs> Come over here. Need to act fast. Oh shit, I forgot Shadow oh, Hat's also magic. <laughs> no, try and take that out. <laughs> Gating ball. You know what? I'm actually gonna summon one of these because. Magic. Oh fuck! Did I just activate them by fucking you, you doing that spell, didn't I? I wonder if this is worth the cost. Probably not. <laughs> right. Let's try and fucking kill these things before they transform. I'll do something. I'm try. If I go here, can I do this? I can. I didn't do much. Okay. Are you attacking this? Huh. Wow, I've never actually seen enemies go for that before. You just duplicated! Did you get bigger? <laughs> Fucking hell, it really is random. <laughs> That's all you can do. <laughs> what the fuck did you just do? You're hastened, you're quicker, you have three mirror images, and you're enlarged. That's fun. So, does that mean you're gonna be a bitch to attack? Fucking hell, that thing's defense is miles no, is fucking nuts no. I forgot bow eh, uh, Gail has a crossbow. I will ascend. Okay. Let's try and get this fuck out of here. Oh thank goodness. Thank goodness. See if we can just attack. <laughs> Shadowheart doesn't really get in a boot it that often. Like the rest of them. Mm-hmm. What now? Ugh. 
Oh <laughs> my god. I need grocery. I have a thought. I, I, I might respect her. My nurses did my not. My not or I'm thinking of Molly class or Jewel class and I don't know. We shall see. I don't know how. I, I'm fucking shit at knowing like what's the best to Jewel class with what and all that. So it's just kind of a thought that I had. This fight should not be so hard. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh. I'm gonna get a health took back at me. Yep. <laughs> Time to strike. It has it. Why are you unstable? What the fuck happened? Well, if I daze you, I've done nothing. Let's finish this. Thanks. Come on, can't stay idle. Thank you. That fight was a lot more annoying than I remember. <laughs> does your nest have anything? Oh, that does actually. And I broke one. So Battle just... has taken its toll. I should rest. I had a feeling you would want to rest. Grocers are at level one spell slots too, so it's not. Are we just rested, troops? I'm gonna loot do things in here and then there's another door I'm gonna try and get into so I'm just gonna do some things and then I'll maybe see you uh, over here somewhere who knows you're gonna have to just wait and see so I just I don't know but I kind of love this bit specifically purely for the lighting and I just I love that because it's coming through like a stained glass window you can see that reflected in the light that shines through I love this game. <laughs> but also to our left! <laughs> we have the puzzle I was talking about. Of, um... Well, the reason we have the... The ceremonial mace. We also need a ceremonial axe and a hammer. I think there's three, because there's four pedestals. There's already one on here. So we need to find one to put on all of them. So I'm going to click on this and see what it has to say. The monastery's notable keepers adorn these intricate panels. Lathandarian monasteries of this size were usually overseen by dawn masters, esteemed members of the clergy. S All right, got you. Thanks. <laughs> I'm joking. Is there supposed to be a big gap here? Oh, okay, so I was supposed to... Okay, have options. <laughs> so one of them is broken. And these, like, they're not... Well, I guess they are important. So if you, if you listen to them, it helps you figure out what weapon to put where. So we'll just go through them all. The reconsecration of the monastery, conducted by Dawnmaster Seed. With a hammer. I guess it just tells you the names, but then you look at the forties. Even song before the zenith day, celebrated by Dawnmaster Stockhold. Don't know what you have. <laughs> Dawnmaster Vasaid wielding. The rest of the inscription and picture has shattered away. Yeah, where the weapon probably would have been. Did I not read something with Vasaid in it? And then just ignored it completely? Dawnmaster Welkin Glory beckons forth the rising sun in Lathander's name. And he's got the sword. So there we go. This kind of tells you. Dawnmaster for Said. Yeah, okay, so that's. Yeah, the sword's there, so the hammer goes there. And then the mace? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Old key. You know, I love old keys. 
But also, uh, if you go here, we're not going to pass it, right? Oh, you that did. Be worth a look. We did. But I'm quite sure it's a really high um, lock pick, right? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Unless I get a magical 20, I'm never getting this. If I had a stallion with me, we'd be able to fucking do this. No. I'm not gonna waste all my thieves' tools on this. But essentially, getting in here means you don't have to do the puzzle at all. I'm, I'm getting genuine thought to swapping someone out for a stallion. Potentially Gale. Because I like having shadow heart here, here to do Lizelle's stuff so there's an enchanted door I thought she was gonna say something about it she's not there's another way in I think we can unlock it but I'm not gonna do that up here takes you directly to the eagles who I do want to have a chat with but uh, I also kind of want to see if I can use the mage hand that means I don't have to Potentially fight the eagles. No one. Come on. Come on, someone proceed. Shadow Heart. Shadow Heart. Thank you, thank you. Alright, instead of trying to go through this with a sword, I'm gonna do some uh, management. Oh my god, just move towards it. Alright. No, and here there's a guardian of faith at level 7. Essentially, if you go in this ring, it will attack you, but it also takes away its health when it attacks you. Like, look how stunning this enemy is. It's basically a fucking stained glass mirror window. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I wish there was more of a description on it because I just I love this thing's design. There might be. Is there not maybe a book? I don't know. But essentially I'm here for this battle axe. So moving in. Let's a see. Oh, wait. Of faith spell. And a remarkably long lasting one at that. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna get my actual weapon back. Okay, so we might take some damage here, but it's fine. Ah, excellent choice. Right. And okay, Gail, just walk all the way fucking close to it. Whatever. What's next, I wonder? So what triggers it? Everything, despite everything. Try to take the X, I assume. Yeah. Da -da. And it has high defense. Can't give up. Really high defense. Ooh. Fuck it. I didn't want to waste spells, but I'll probably need to go for a long rest soon anyway. Blood comes easy these days. I don't have any more short rests. Let's try and divine smite. You know what? No, fuck it. We don't. We never use this. Let's try branding smite. Black, black. Uh. Okay, that could have done more damage. Oh, we're a spell slots completely. Okay, that's not good. Well, it killed itself anyway. <laughs> nice. Okay, that wasn't fun. It was easier than I thought it was going to be, though. Okay, so <laughs> you may notice now that <laughs> Grosha has all our health and Lizelle is the one with health taken off. I loaded the game because I was a fool. I tried to get past the, the gap you had to jump by and sh Grosha ended up climbing this ladder and triggering the conversation with these eagles. And I didn't want to do that yet. I wanted to try and see if I could steal uh, this first before trying to talk to the eagles. So I'm going to try and do that. So I loaded it. 
<laughs> so I do apologize, but I was just, I'm so annoyed at some of the decisions I've made today. <laughs> so <laughs> I might as well just keep fucking doing shit like that. So I'm going to try, see if we can use Mage Hand again to get this battle axe. No, it was a, it was a mace, a hammer of some sort. So that's my plan. And then once we've finished that, I'll probably end the episode. Wait. I'm going to also take an animal speaking potion so that we can talk to the eagles. But after that, we'll end the episode probably. And then, and then next week we can like fully jump into the crash and the Githyanki part of it. Now that we've got the the puzzle side and all that, the fights and or the small fights and shit like that. Eager for battle. Okay, so you have Mage Hand. Yeah, you do. It lasts for 10 turns. How way. close can I get? I don't know if this is going to work, by the way. I just wanted to see if I could get a try. Is that going to... Are you going to move? Okay. I know what to do. Yeah, you're moving. Okay, okay. We're going to do a little bit of this. And then... We're going to see if we can move that. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, that did not work. That's... Oh. It's calling for help. Keep focus. Oh. This is so annoying. I really wanted to talk to the eagles. This, this ego to the left is this ego's mum. And actually, have they not got a Scottish accent? But they're cute and they're like, stay close to me, I'll protect you. And it's, you know. <laughs> no hesitation. I'm gonna try and crochet. You have legs of a gazelle. Let's see if we can hamstring you. Wait. Yeah, we'll see if we can hamstring you. The eagles have a hamstring. Where well, you were hamstrung. <laughs> try a lightning arrow? No, I'm just gonna try a regular. Can't be asked. Why are you doing? Did I? Why did I just fucking hit? Uh, did I fucking click through to that fucking. Well done on wasting a move. I can punch. Can I throw this axe? <laughs> I meant to call it a hammer. That was oh, you're useless. <laughs> you're fucking useless. Unleash me. Oh, oh. I'm never gonna kill it, but oh, this ain't going well. I'm jumping because there's vines, by the way, so you can get caught up in them and stuff, and they're 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 annoying, mm. or they can be. I'm so sorry for killing your child. I'm so sorry. But they drop really good things. I'm fury. <laughs> I am death. Oh, we can actually attack you. Can we get rid of you? <gasps> Before you call reinforcements? Nice! See, Gil just got caught in the fucking trap. Need to find a way forward. Wait, what was. Oh. I didn't mean to click on the hammer, but. I feel so bad. 
I don't know if there's a way to get that hammer without uh, growing looking piece of armament. the egos. Use on those gif Yankee, perhaps? This is a fucking is an actual weapon. And boy can it wreak havoc. Okay, we're gonna go doing and do the fucking ceremony. I done all this for that. I killed the poor egos just to do it, so we're gonna fucking do it. Okay. Now that we're here, you have the hammer. I can never remember what goes where. Dawnmaster Stockhold. Eh. Does it? Feud and blood in his first kill. We're just gonna go put the hammer here. We'll know if they light up, I'm sure, right? That's how you... Oh, oh, oh. That hammer... Okay, okay, I was like, please don't disappear on me, man. <laughs> uh, what goes on this one? Is this the axe? Or is this the mace? We're gonna try mace. Oh, nice! I have done this a couple of times, but I forget every time. I'm proud of that memory. <laughs> and now for the last one. The axe. There we go. So, axe. If we're doing it facing north, then northeast is the ceremonial hammer. Southeast is the ceremonial mace. And southwest is the battle axe. So if you don't know, then no you do. And this is something that can really fucking save your life if you want to go get the Dawn of Lathander weapon. Or the Blood of Lathander? I think it's the Blood of Lathander. To the next Dawn Master. I don't think we're going to make it, but the blood is secure. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> we closed it off with magic. Only one of our own can take it. If anyone else tries, the walls will fall and they won't get out of, there, out of here alive. No, they will not. <laughs> Should that happen, pray for Rosy Rosimorn. I've never known how you pronounce that. Monastery. <laughs> but do not mourn. It's for the best. And death. New life. Always. This blood sounds important. Could it still be here somewhere? I love that. Does she think it's actual blood? And she's like, ooh, blood, love that. <laughs> and now we're going to take the weapons. They're not great, but they got radiant damage. <clears throat> the weapons stop glowing. How odd. Yeah, they, they lose their glow. So anyway, that's, that's how you get the blood of Lathander without, well, without <laughs> destroying the monastery. <laughs> I hope that intrigues you, <laughs> because it is fucking nuts. Okay, so I think I'm actually going to leave that there. As I said, we kind of, we got the small stuff out the way for the monastery. We done the puzzle, we have the crest that's going to hopefully help us get the blood of the, the, blood of the, the, blood of the thunder. And we <laughs> kill most of the things in here, if not all of them, that isn't the Githyanki. So now when you come back next week, we will be... Oh, I also forgot we killed the fucking... The, the Society of Brilliance woman who tried to steal a fucking child. We killed her. And I'm glad we did. <laughs> if you play the game, come and let me know how you handle her. Have you ever given her the owlbear egg? Because I can only imagine her being pissed. <laughs> but anyway, as I said, I'm going to leave that there next week troops we will be heading into the monastery and actually getting to go do the the get yankee side of things trying to cure ourselves of these tadpoles because lazelle said the get yankee have a way of doing that <laughs> was she telling the truth or has she been misled herself to believe that her get her kind help or will they actually help us you're just gonna have to stay tuned to find out so with that said I'm gonna leave it here. 
I hope you enjoyed today's episode and I hope you're looking forward to seeing the Githyanki part of the monastery. Part of me is very worried about it. <laughs> because the last time I fought Githyanki, they took me out. So, <laughs> here's hoping these fights go a lot better. <laughs> so, troops, with that said, I'm going to shut up and I'm going to release you into the wild, to your lives. So, wherever you are, day or night, I hope you're having a good one and I hope you're staying as safe and as clean as you can. And until the next time, on Baldur's Gate 3, THUMBS! And Grosha and her lovely group of friends here will we know. Ah, ra, here.